All right, welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel 16, verses 14 through 23. There's a lot of reading in there, so let's jump straight to it. Then we'll think about it together. But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said to him, Surely a distressing spirit from God is troubling you. Let our master now command your servants who are before you, and seek out a man who is a skillful player on the harp, and it shall be that he will play it with his hand, and when the distressing spirit from God is upon you, and you shall be well. So Saul said to his servants, Provide me now a man who can play well, and bring him to me. Then one of the servants answered and said, Look, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a mighty man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a handsome person, and the Lord is with him. Therefore Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me your son David, who is with the sheep. And Jesse took a donkey loaded with bread, a skin of wine, and a young goat, and sent them by his son David to Saul. So David came to Saul and stood before him, and he loved him greatly, and he became his armor-bearer. Then Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Please let David stand before me, for he has found favor in my sight. And so it was, whenever the Spirit from God was upon Saul, that David would take a harp and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become refreshed and well, and the distressing spirit would depart from him. Okay, not a lot of time here today. Was this distressing spirit from the Lord? Some have said that, well, many times in the Old Testament, it appears God sort of steps up and takes responsibility for, for things that aren't really his His thing, but he just it's presented in the Bible that that's actually the case, that, that that would mean that perhaps this wasn't a distressing spirit from the Lord. Maybe Saul is bipolar. But you know what? It says it's a distressing spirit, and it says it's from the Lord. Maybe it's this. Saul has disregarded God's command. God has told him, I've taken my spirit from you. God's protection is somewhat withdrawn. With his spirit withdrawn from Saul, Saul may be left somewhat to his own devices so that when God's spirit actually comes to him, he reacts badly to it. You know, it's not quite clear how to understand this psychologically, but we notice that Saul's having some problem. Distressing spirit, it says it's from the Lord, is upon him. So again, God has withdrawn his protection somewhat. David also out there protecting the the different animals has uh, developed an ability to play music. So interesting business here, how God works. Uh, I would be careful about saying that this is uh, not really from God when the text says it is, but there's some things here we don't completely know. Hey, you know what? Maybe Saul both was sort of a bipolar situation and had a distressing spirit come to him because, again, he's disobeyed God. So Saul could have skipped all this by what? By simply obeying God the first time, obeying God from the get-go, doing what God said uh, whenever he's given a mission. He should have done that, but now he has caused God to withdraw from him. And so as far as you and I go, what about us? Let's not do anything, you or I, that would ever cause potentially God's God to withdraw his spirit from us or to send a distressing spirit to us. So Saul has been disobedient, and now he's reaping maybe some of the re- result of that. But what we want to do is be right and notice how providentially God is working. He's brought David right there in to be the armor bearer of King Saul. How about that for inter- interesting providential work? Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, Help us as we are trying to live the right way. Help us again to seek your spirit. May we do nothing that will intervene between you and us, nothing that will cause a barrier to arise between us and you. Please, Lord, help us to be fully on your side and help us also to see here in our story today how you're working with providence to bring David up to that space where he can take over and be the king that you've called him to be. So, Lord, help us to be available to you just as David was available to you. Please, Lord, bless us and be our leader, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So there we have a problem. Uh, Providential things are happening. Saul has got some issues going on here, but there's David, and he's actually right there next to the king now at the very, almost at the beginning here. Quite interesting. God is working. Let's you and I also work for him this day. God be with you in all that you do this day.